Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Now I Know. So, as promised, we're going to be talking about what my preparations are looking like for the European Board of Ophthalmology, otherwise known as the EBO exam. And this exam has um, really a lot to take in. It requires basically um, very um, compound, detail-oriented knowledge of ophthalmology. Um, and the main recommended sources of information by uh, the European Board is basically what's found in the BCSC, or the American Academy of Ophthalmology books. Um, it's a lot to start preparing for it to read through if you're starting just four or five months before. Therefore, I suggest to all residents, to all ophthalmology residents, start reading the American Academy books as early as possible. They are such rich, uh, amazingly detailed oriented books. Um, and they've evolved a lot through the years. The last uh, latest edition, uh, the 2022-2023 uh, version has a lot of pictures, uh, even details, what is high yield, what's recommended to really know. And what I love about it, it's unlike Kansky, which Kansky is a, is a good book, but unlike Kansky, it kind of builds your information from the ground up. And in each book, there is a general repetition of cer certain fundamentals that we should keep in mind, embryological factors, uh, anatomical um, uh, details that otherwise we tend to just you know forget along the way because clinically it's not so substantial in our everyday everyday lives until it is and this is the thing like um, already as I'm reading through these books and working in the clinic at the same time I'm, I'm applying certain things and noticing certain things that otherwise I might have not so uh, um, it's important to always recognize that there's a lot left for us to learn and uh, I think the biggest advantage of this European board or those that are doing the OCAPs in the States and the American boards is that it kind of highlights the gaps in your knowledge that otherwise aren't just for you, but these are for your patients that are trusting you to take care of them. Uh, so that aside, what have I been doing? So the mainstay of, of my studying has been reading through the American board books. Uh, I started with pediatric ophthalmology ophthalmic pathology and uh, intraocular tumor books and now I'm doing neuroophthalmology and as much as I love neuroophthalmology having actually to read through the BCSC books is allowing me to revamp my understanding of neuroanatomy to completely understand of the origins of why things manifest themselves as they are in the clinic it's taking some time anatomy is a bit of a tough one to get, to crunch through again but it's definitely worth it. Um, and I, the only thing that I had wished for is I wish that I started earlier. So on my downtime, what I'm doing is that I'm using Ofto Questions, which is one of many Q banks. I chose that one. They had a very good deal for Halloween at the time when I subscribed um, uh, to practice kind of what I'm learning. And it's no easy feat because the questions that they have in Ofto Questions there are, most of them are uh, well, but some are really tricky, but the explanations the off the questions has, I got to give it to them, hands down, really, really, really good. Um, then uh, what I'm planning to do is uh, to continue doing this path, try to clear as many uh, academy books as I can up until the month of uh, March. Um, and uh, March, I'm gonna stop with the with the academy books and then read through Kansky. Um, so at least I cover kind of a refresh of everything um, and continue solving off the questions. Uh, on my drives or on the bus and the train, I'm listening to uh, the podcast uh, Eyes for Ears. Um, it's I talked about this podcast before. It's a very 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 um, educative. Um, uh, clear, concise, uh, and informative podcast. Um, ben Young and Andrew Pau are talented in delivering uh, high yield information in a very interactive uh, sense. So I definitely recommend listening to that podcast. This is how the logo looks up here and the link to it will be in the description if you guys are interested. And shout out to Andrew and Ben if they ever see this video. Um, so, uh, yeah, beyond that, I mean, off the questions has been going insanely bad <laughs> for me, which is a good thing because it's showing me a lot of the flaws, a lot of the gaps in my knowledge. 
um, I discovered that the main things I have to really put a lot of effort on is everything that has to do with optics. Um, so this is something you just have to memorize and practice over and over again. So I'm planning to read through optics and start practicing through it as the time goes by. Now, realistically, how much am I able to study each day? It's difficult to, to really measure it, but it all depends on how tired you are after a long day's work. Um, I usually try to get in about 10, 15 pages a day on, on weekends, maybe about 30 pages, uh, 40 pages a day. Um, and it varies, but it's not just about the quantity of pages, it's about how much you can retain. So it's definitely something that I would recommend uh, to get into as soon as possible. And uh, it's impossible to remember everything or retain everything, but make it enjoyable. Make it something that doesn't take away as well from your free time, because it's important you also have downtime. This exam isn't the end of the world. But uh, I'm going to show you a bit of some samples of how I'm doing and uh, also how I study on the computer because all of my BCSCs I'm reading from PDFs and not uh, as a physical book. So a bit of the technique that I, I'm adopting. I'd love to know what you guys are doing, what you guys have for ideas. If anyone has done the ebook exam before, you'd like to be on an interview to share your experience, go ahead. I would love for that. But the most important thing that I'd have to say so far is that I'm getting to understand how much I don't know and refine the stuff that I do. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the progress and how it's going. If you guys have any tips for me, stuff that I'm missing or great, I got great advice from my, my friend Oscar, uh, my colleague to use Anki cards, which I haven't got around to. What do you guys think of that? Let me know and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.